Hi, and welcome to Life Talks with Christoph. Thanks for joining me today. Wanted to talk um, today about prayer and some just very specific aspect of prayer, and that is the times where you and I have prayed and you think, wow, nothing's happening. Did God even hear? How come I've been praying this prayer over and over and I just don't see God move? Well, I wanted to talk about one possibility um, of why that prayer is not answered. And what I would add to that, it has not been answered yet. Don't give up on that prayer because God's moving. I want to take a look back in the book of Daniel, chapter 10. And Daniel, um, in chapter 10, he goes on a fast and he begins to pray to God and he prays to God for three weeks. So during that whole period of time, three weeks, guess what? Nothing happens. God doesn't move. The situation is unchanged at all. And after that three weeks, something pretty miraculous takes place. An angel of God appears before Daniel and this is what he says to him. He says, do not be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. What an incredible encouragement that even though it had been three weeks that Daniel had been praying this same prayer, seeking after God, nothing happening, finally after three weeks the angel of God comes and says, Daniel, on the very first day that you thought about praying, God heard. And it's taken a while for this answer to come, three weeks later. And this is what the angel continues. He says, but the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now, these weren't actual physical kings. What this angel is talking about is not kings that had to be resisted and he had to come with armies to defeat these kings. Rather, he is talking about demonic spirits. So when he's saying that the king of Persia resisted me, apparently in the heavenly realms, there are demonic spirits that control certain areas. And even though Daniel was praying for 21 days, God heard the angel was coming with the answer, but the demonic spirits were resisting him. So it's a possibility that one of the reasons that your prayers haven't been answered yet is because the enemy who resists you and doesn't want you to be blessed by God is standing and preventing that prayer from being answered. And what I want to encourage you today with is know that even if your prayer hasn't been answered yet, know that God hears you. That's right, God's listening to you, He hears your prayer. As you approach Him with faith, remind yourself, God hears me, and God loves me, and God wants to bless me. Remember, He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. So as you continue to seek after God, you might need to, in addition to to whatever you're asking God for or praying about, you might need to take some authority over the devil. Now we don't have power over the devil in our own strength, in our own abilities, in our own goodness. But Jesus has given us his name. That name that's above every other name. That at that name every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's given us the right and privilege to use that name if we've put our faith and trust in him. So in the name of Jesus, resist the devil, submit yourself to God, and the scripture tells us when we do that, resist the devil, submit ourselves to God, that the devil will flee. That prince of Persia, as Daniel faced, we have the power in the name of Jesus to say, devil, Get out of here. God's going to answer this prayer. He's going to bring to pass the things that I'm praying about. It's pretty deep, but know that God loves you, that he's given you authority in the name of Jesus, 
and that you can pray with confidence knowing that God hears you from the very moment that you start praying God's saying I hear you I'm going to answer stand firm resist the enemy submit yourself to me and he'll flee I hope this helps you take some practice take some just spending time with God to build up your confidence knowing who you are in Christ so thanks for joining me today if this spoke to you comment in the the section below let me know your thoughts click on like and uh, subscribe if you'd like to hear more videos in the future thanks for spending time with me today we'll talk to you later mm -hmm.